dear all in this session i would like to discuss the overview of high voltage engineering syllabus you can observe the syllabus of high voltage engineering this is one of the core subject of electrical engineering especially for ug syllabus the main purpose of conducting the course is to understand the conduction and breakdown in gaseous liquid and solid dielectric material and uh, the generation methods of hvac hvdc and impulse measurement and finally students should be able to understand over voltage phenomenon at the end they should know how to conduct the testing insulation testing so these are the main course objectives there are five modules in the first module you will be learning about the breakdown phenomenon in gaseous dielectric material what are the different breakdown phenomenon in gaseous material in the first segment you will be learning about the difference between insulation material and dielectric material what are the major differences between insulators and dielectrics later you will be learning about different phenomena like a collision process then ionization process townsend's current growth equation then townsend's current growth equation by considering secondary ionization thereafter how to explain the breakdown phenomenon by using townsend's criterion then experimental determination of alpha and gamma that means primary and secondary ionization coefficient later on you will be learning about what do you mean by uh, electronegative gases what do you mean by attachment and detachment process direct attachment also dissociate attachment likewise you will be learning about the concept later on what do you mean by uh, time lags of breakdown so you will be learning about form formative time lag okay then streamer theory how do you explain the breakdown with the help of streamer theory so immediately you will be learning about passion slow what do you mean by passion slow what are the importance of passion slow finally you will be learning about corona discharges especially for uh, non uniform fields so this is the first part of module 1 i have covered all the segments of the first part of module 1 that is conduction and breakdown in gases so the next segment is uh, conduction and breakdown in liquid dielectric material first of all we'll be learning about liquid dielectric material and its properties then difference between pure liquids and commercial liquid later on the various phenomenon associated with the dielectric breakdown in liquid dielectric material such as suspended particle theory then bubbles theory electro convection breakdown etc so that is also been covered in my channel its all videos are available you can visit the playlist then breakdown in solid dielectric material is the third segment of the module 1 in that i have discussed about what do you mean by solid dielectric material already been covered what are the desirable properties of solid dielectric material what are the major theory which are associated with the breakdown of solid dielectric material such as intrinsic breakdown electromechanical breakdown then thermal breakdown apart from that i have discussed about one more concept that is called freeing and tracking so those things been already discussed in the uh, classes you can visit the playlist of high voltage engineering so i should say that module 1 i have covered successfully this portion i have completed successfully so can you please visit the playlist and you will be getting the video in the sequential order in case any clarification you can put up in the comment box in a topic is left over or numerical example also i have been covered okay later on i have discussed about module 2 in that module 2 you will be learning about how to produce hvdc what are the different methods so in that you can discuss about high voltage rectifier voltage multiplier circuit van de graaff generator then cockcraft walton type dc generation set those things i covered first hvdc okay how to produce hvdc later on i have discussed about how to produce hvac how to produce hvac okay what are the different methods to produce hv ac by using cascade transformer it is possible to produce it is possible to generate high voltage ac similarly tesla coil and resonant transformer many more methods are available those topics i covered in the playlist of high voltage engineering you can visit those videos similarly how to produce impulse waveform by using impulse generator 
single stage and multi stage impulse generators are available i have discussed the details about single stage and multi stage impulse generator moreover i have done some simulation with the help of virtual lab that is available in the playlist of high voltage engineering please do visit so module 2 is also been completed okay so later on i have just moved on to module 3 in that module 3 you will be learning about how to measure hv dc then how to measure hv ac and what are the different methods to measure impulse waveform so those topic i covered in module 3 in that module 3 uh, i have discussed about electrostatic voltmeter generating voltmeter chubb and fortescue methods then impulse current can be measured with the help of roberski coil those things i have i have covered in module 3 uh, typically measurements okay in the module 4 that is yet to be covered different over voltage insulation coordination in electric power system over voltage phenomenon and insulation coordination so that is yet to yet to cover okay yet to complete so in the upcoming session i'll be completing those session also so that i can say that almost ug syllabus i could complete in the area of high voltage engineering so module 4 is pending so that i'll be covering soon please stay tuned okay in the module 5 immediately after completion of module 3 i have moved on to module 5 in module 5 i have discussed about dielectric loss loss factor loss tangent etc for that purpose there are two methods for measurement of testing for the conduction of testing two methods are available one is ndt other one is conventional testing in the ndt i have discussed about shearing splits transformer ratio amridge okay afterwards i have discussed about the phenomenon that is called partial discharge how do you measure partial discharge you can go for straight detectors balanced detectors narrow band and wide band frequency methods so different methods are available that is also been covered you can visit the playlist and you will be getting the videos in the sequence particular sequence will be given second segment of module 5 is basically a conventional type of hv testing in that conventional testing i have discussed about testing of general testing of insulators first thereafter i have jumped into bushings how do you test the transformer bushings then testing of isolators and circuit breaker then testing of cables i have covered then testing of transformers also been completed testing of surge arresters or you can call surge diverters that is also been completed then radio interference measurement and uh, in the last video i have discussed about how to test hvdc wall that is also been covered in module 5 okay only module 4 is pending related to over voltage phenomena so this is regarding module 5 so these are the course outcomes for you some colleges they will be undergoing nba accreditation or equivalent of any type of nac or something like that it will be really helpful for tracing out the course of outcomes anyway students should learn about the breakdown phenomenon learning and understanding gaseous liquid and solid dielectric material and they should know what are the different methods to produce high voltage ac then high voltage dc and impulse waveforms afterwards they should know how to measure those hv ac then they should know the over voltage phenomenon especially lightning so what are the major steps involved in lightning phenomenon finally students should be able to understand how to conduct the testing of different equipments what is the difference between ndt and conventional testing so these are the basic course outcomes which will be helpful for you for if you are going for accreditation so this graduate attributes is related to nba national board of accreditation so it depends on the country it varies and uh, i would like to discuss the list of test books so mainly i have focused the first test book that is the main reference for me high voltage engineering written by ms naidu and v kamraju publication mc grohil publication and the fifth edition 2013 any edition can be referred okay and these are my references further main test book is this one this is the main test book and these are the refer reference books like hvd h high voltage engineering fundamentals by e kufel and newens second edition 2000 similarly vadva cl high voltage engineering written by vadva new age international publication and third edition similarly hv uh, test and measure techniques wolf gang springer publication and you can go for first edition similarly uh, high voltage engineering 
Farooq and AM Rizak, CRC Plus and First Edition. These are the various test book which will be really helpful. However, I have referred the first test book that is the main test book for me for completion of these videos. And I have referred some website also like electricforyou.com and the circuit blog, etc. Okay. So these are the syllabus information and overview. I should say that overview of the syllabus. Only fourth module is pending that I'll be covering soon. Anyway, you can visit the playlist of high voltage engineering and you'll be getting the entire details. Finally, thank you very much for watching this video.